If this works perfectly, the price of your flight ticket's price could come down to the point that it could be cheaper than ordering pizza. Not only will the price drop, but it could fast track us to a world with no global warming. The aviation business is one of the fastest growing sources of greenhouse gases that affect the climate around the world. It is responsible for almost 2.4% of carbon monoxide emissions and releases other dangerous gases into the air. And as air transportation grows, this percentage goes up. This is where electric plasma jet engines come in. They are poised to be the answer to global warming and the future of the aviation industry. But one question, what is a plasma jet engine and what does it do? Okay, that's two questions. Let's start with a little physics on the states of matter. We have four states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. Almost everyone knows the first three, but the fourth one, not so much. Plasma is a medium that allows electricity to flow through it. It is made up of almost the same number of positively and negatively charged particles. The negative charge is carried by the electrons, and each electron has one unit of negative charge. Atoms and molecules carry the positive charge. Plasma's state is also like gas, but they don't have the same qualities as gas. Plasma doesn't have a set volume or shape like gas, but its electrically charged ions allow it to conduct electricity and respond to a magnetic field. Another interesting property of plasma is that it glows when it comes in contact with electricity, which is kind of cool. Fun fact, all the visible matter in the universe occurs in the plasma state and makes up most of the universe. The sun, stars, interplanetary, and interstellar spaces live in a plasma state. Even the northern and southern lights and lightning itself are also made up of plasma. Heck, some TV sets and lamps have some human-made plasma. It's basically everywhere and has multiple use cases. In such, NASA uses artificial plasma for various activities in space. NASA planes have used this technology to control their altitude, take precise control of satellites, and do low thrust maneuvers. The high specific impulse of the pulsed rockets based on plasma helps the mission and cuts down on harmful emissions. You see, chemical propulsion uses more fuel to keep a satellite in orbit, but plasma uses less fuel and helps make satellites last longer and work better, which makes it budget-friendly. But space technology and aviation technology are not the same thing. They might use the same materials, but how the materials are being used is what differentiates the two industries. If you use plasma the way NASA uses it for planes, it will be catastrophic. As a result, different ideas have been put forward for how planes could use this technology. Some ideas revolve around using electricity and air injection to make plasma. The electric plasma engine concept is that electricity will convert directly into thrust by using microwaves to turn compressed air into energy, which is then turned into plasma propulsion. This technology is just starting out, but early results look positive. If it becomes big enough to support an airplane, it would be a game changer and could help stop the global climate emergency. Researchers at Wuhan University's Institute of Technological Sciences in China have come up with a prototype device and written a study paper about how microwave air plasmas can be used to move jets. The team made a plasma jet by putting pressure on a stream of air and then using a microwave to ionize the stream of air. It is a bold and innovative idea that could soon replace engines that run on carbon fuels. In another different experiment, the American Institute of Physics Advances did a similar prototype of a propulsion thruster that only uses air plasma made by ionizing microwaves. A magnetron, a circulator, a curved waveguide, an igniter, and a quartz tube were used for the experimental setup. The prototype shows that a jet engine only needs air, power, and a certain setting to make high temperatures, which are then followed by a pressurized plasma. During the experiment, they used a homemade device to measure the pulling force and jet pressure at different microwave power settings and different airflow rates. During the observation, they saw that for the same amount of power used, its driving pressure is similar to that of a normal jet engine powered by fossil fuels. This means that a carbon emission-free thruster could potentially be used as a jet thruster in the atmosphere. So basically, a jet engine can use microwaved air plasma for jet power instead of the traditional fossil fuel. It will take time to turn this idea into a reality, but it is definitely a glimmer of hope for reducing or totally getting rid of humans' carbon impacts. There will need to be a lot of research done to figure out the best materials, building conditions, and other things to get the best out of plasma jet engines. But so far, the future looks promising. Though we have one question about all this. Do you think it is possible for an electric plasma jet engine to take the place of the traditional jet engine? And if so, 
What are your ideas for making it work? Let us know in the comments section. That is all we have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. It lets us know we are doing a good job of keeping you informed. Also, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more insightful videos like this. Thank you for watching. Till next time.